61A, lecture number four, announcements. Homework one is due Thursday. If you're stuck, that's totally normal, but you should come get help. If you stay stuck for a long time, it's actually not that productive. What does help is to think about it for a while on your own, and then if you have questions or you just don't know how to proceed, come to office hours. If office hours aren't exciting enough, you can come to the homework party on Wednesday night. And a homework party is like office hours, except that there are even more staff there to help you out. So it's a great time to come. You should get your questions answered quickly, and you can work with other students who are trying to solve the same problems. Come to 247 Cory. We have some extra rooms reserved if we need them, so we should be able to accommodate all the students who need help. We're also releasing the first project for the course, which is called Hog. It's a dice game, a real dice game. Like, I do play it with my partner sometimes, though I think I like it more than she does. But in this project, you're going to build a simulator, and then you're going to design automated strategies, AI, for the game. The whole project is due next Friday, but in order to get full credit, you need to start earlier than that. There's a checkpoint, which just means that you need to finish part of the project, phase one, by next Tuesday and submit. You submit just like you would submit a homework, and projects in this course are similar to homework in that they're broken up into a lot of different questions that you have to answer. The difference is there are more questions and they work together to build a large program, which you are welcome to extend and play with in any way that you want. Lots of students have done that in the past. Now, I don't recommend finishing phase one right in Tuesday night. That's the latest possible time to finish it in order to get the checkpoint, but you could finish it even earlier. And if for some reason you don't finish phase one by Tuesday, you can still get almost all the points, just not the checkpoint. If you complete and submit the whole project by Thursday of next week, you earn an early submission bonus point, a whole point just for turning in work early that you would have done anyway. So I would recommend that you aim for Thursday as the deadline. If for some reason you don't finish by Thursday, well, that's okay. You can still turn it in on time and you won't get the early submission bonus point, but you could still get full credit. You may work with a partner, you may do it alone, but I encourage you to work with a partner. Most students find a better experience that way. But when you work with a partner, don't just split it up and they do half and you do half. Instead, make sure you both understand how to solve each problem. The best possible way to work on it is to get together, either online or in person, and let one person type while the other person makes suggestions. When you're done, only one of the partners needs to submit. Then they go to okpi.org, mark the other person as their partner, and you both get credit. Finally, the Extra Lecture Series is a series of weekly lectures that will be Thursdays at 9 a.m. in room 20 of the Social Sciences Building. Like I explained in the last announcements video, this won't really help you do better in 61A. It's just for fun, some extra topics that students who are feeling very comfortable in the course and want a little something extra might enjoy. It is possible to enroll in this extra lecture series and get one unit of CS 194-175, but you have to come to the first lecture to learn how that works. And some people asked why there isn't a recording or a remote option, so I'm going to try to add one. You can join via this Zoom link and I'll try to record it and post those recordings somewhere. And one final announcement that's specific to this YouTube playlist is that at the end of every Wednesday lecture on YouTube, I'll put the recording of my office hours, which I hold on Monday and record. So the last video in this playlist is a recording of Zoom office hours. And this one in particular goes into quite a long discussion of Homework one, problem number five, the if function refactor. Students mentioned that there is a lot of code here and a lot of text and it wasn't totally clear what they were supposed to do. So I try to give some motivation and some guidance about how to solve that problem.
Okay, on to today's lecture about higher order functions. Things are about to get interesting. The topic we'll discuss today was once a feature of only a few programming languages, because using it requires you to understand functions very deeply. But it's proven so useful that more and more programming languages have added it. So now, pretty much every programming language that gets heavy use and is reasonably modern includes this notion of higher order functions, which are just a wonderful way to bundle together information about what's going on in your program with the behavior described by a function definition. Okay, check it out. 